Lebai, a name that makes all scholars and poets sigh in admiration. His writings are as dazzling as the Milky Way. His life, legendary and rebellious. In poetry, Lebai is matchless. His thoughts flutter uniquely. This was how Lebai depicted himself and his poetry. When you think of Lebai, what comes to mind? Is it his romantic image of wearing a lotus crown, dressed in a gown of stars and moon, reciting poems with a sword in hand? Or is it his iconic portrayal of holding a porcelain jug of wine, drinking alone under the moonlight? Or is it his wanderlust lifestyle, traveling the mountains and rivers, unconstrained and carefree? This man who lived over 1,200 years ago has now become a shining symbol, the personification of the immortal poet Li Bai. He was the most renowned poet of the Golden Tang Dynasty, synonymous with classical Chinese poetry. His name is almost equated with Chinese poetry. Li Bai was born into a wealthy family in 701 AD during the Golden Age of Tang Dynasty, the cultural zenith of Chinese history when poetry was regarded as the supreme art form. His early life was marked by a great deal of travel and he held various minor official posts, being a student and even a Taoist monk. It was not until the age of 20 that Li Bai formally started his legendary poetry career. His works were characterized by beautiful poetic realm, immense imagination, and elegant diction. Poems like Quiet Night Thoughts, Beside My Bed, A Pool of Light, Is It Frost Upon the Ground, and Hearing a Flute on a Spring Night in Luoyang. Hearing a Flute Beyond the Hedge, What Night Is It on the Bird Bridge, are still widely recited today. Bidding farewell to the White Emperor under colorful clouds, a thousand miles to Jiangling, returned within a day. On both banks, the ceaseless cries of monkeys echo, my light boat has already passed thousands of mountains. This was composed by Li Bai during his travels along the Yangtze River. The magnificence of the landscape and the exhilaration of his boat ride were all transformed into poetic imagery flowing between the lines. Watching the waterfall at Mount Lu, the torrent dashes down in a 3,000 feet fall. It's suspected to be the Milky Way falling from the ninth heaven, depicted spectacular landscapes while nights stay at a mountain temple. Pine is height and the bamboo is tall, clear spring water flows over the stones, expressing cherished friendship. Li Bai's poems were full of passion, romance, and the pursuit of freedom. His works ranged from lofty ancient style to gentle personal voice. His candid and unconstrained personality set him apart from other scholars and poets of his time. His journey, which was as dramatic and intense as his verses, saw both peaks and troughs. There was a time of favor around 742 AD, an ephemeral golden era when he was held in high esteem by Emperor Xuanzong himself. But as fate would have it, this shining period was short-lived. Li Bai soon found himself falling from grace, banished from the court to the distant lands of Yelang. This marked a stark contrast to his earlier days of honor. The celebrated court poet was now a nomad, forced to wander through the wilderness. The journey is hard, the journey is hard. With so many diverging paths, where should one rest now? There will be times when the long wind breaks the waves, hanging the sail directly to cross the vast sea. In this poem, Hard Roads Vitex, Li Bai conveyed the confusion and longing in adversity. However, even in hardship, he did not give up his passion for life and continued to produce countless inspiring masterpieces. For several grueling years, he experienced the harsh reality of exile, yet he remained resilient, his spirit as unbroken as his poetic prowess. His journey took a turn once more in 747 AD when he was pardoned, marking an end to his long and arduous period of exile. Despite the turbulence, Li Bai's reputation as the immortal poet remained a testament to his enduring talent and strength of character. Although Li Bai's verses deeply touched many, his personal ambitions remained unrealized. The recognition he sought seemed to evade him. In 762 AD, perhaps in contemplation of these unrealized dreams, he retreated from public life, stepping away from the limelight into solitude. In his relatively brief yet legendary life, Li Bai created countless classics that stood the test of time. Over 1,200 years later today, his poems still touch the hearts of every reader, inspiring every dream chaser. The extraordinary life of Li Bai has many valuable lessons to teach us. 
He taught us that life is meant for pursuing dreams, like an eagle spreading its wings and soaring high. It is meant for harboring passion and living out a romantic spirit. His poems expressed a profound love for life and a broad vision, encouraging later generations to maintain hope even in adversity. His poems also teach us to harbor dreams and passion. Wishing to buy Osmanthus flowers to go with wine, nothing compares to youthful adventures. Levi loved poetry and wine all his life, embracing a romantic spirit. Likewise, we should also dare to pursue our dreams and keep an everlasting, fiery passion. His romanticism also reflects his passion and romance for life. Drunk, I watch the wind blow off my hat. Dancing, I love the colors of the moon. In his poems, he conveyed an appreciation and cherishment for every moment of life. We should also learn to discover beauty in life, embrace each splendid instant. Lastly, Levi's poems contain a philosophy of optimism towards life. When we're happy, we should make the most of it. Don't let the golden cup sit empty facing the moon. No matter what difficulties he encountered, he always maintained an open-minded and optimistic heart. Similarly, we should also learn to brave the storms of life, travel light, and greet life with a smile. Over a thousand years later, his story still speaks to our hearts with undiminished power. Let's reflect on the immortal poet we explored today, the real Li Bai, not just the mythologized figure in history. His candid poems and unconventional life reveal a spirit free as clouds and mountains. Though the man is gone, his poems remain alive, continuing to inspire beyond the boundaries of time and space.